When, you, when they have a whole bunch at the end, they separate them. They take all those chickens that nobody bought that were already cooked. They take the dark meat and they put them into chicken pot pies. And they take the white meat and they put it in a package. And that's what I got here. This one doesn't have onions, right? These are chopped Mexican green onions. Do you know the difference between a regular green onion and a Mexican green onion? No. They're bigger. The bulbs are about this big as opposed to being this big like this. And they have a sweeter taste. Do you know what this is? Um, Snip. Parsley? No. Snip. There you go. What do you think? Does it, does it smell good? Yeah. For Empty Carol and Brenda, we're not going to put cilantro in. Because cilantro tastes like soap to some people. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> this snip. What does it smell like? Pumpkins. Good job. Kira wins. Garlic. Garlic. We're gonna put some garlic in here, some garlic over there, and the rest in there. I know it tastes like anchovies. It's not anchovies. Oh. It's garlic. Smell this. What do you think? It's like some sort of like spice. Good call there, Rowan. Can we narrow it down a bit? Um, pumpkins. You're stuck on the pumpkin. This is onion powder. Kira gets it again. What is this one? It is not anchovies and it is not pumpkin. <laughs> Try it Cinnamon. I don't know how to say cinnamon. What's that one? No. It is in English cumin. And in Spanish, it's comino. What? What is this? Take a seat. Oh, it's, I know that is just what uh, it looks and smells a little oregano. Gotcha. It's oregano. But it's not just any oregano. It's special oregano. What kind of special oregano is it? It's Mexican. There you go. I get a theme here. It's all Mexican. Oh, wow. Good Good catching on that thing. So we grind it between our hands to release. Now smell it. You're okay. Do you see how it makes it smell even smell more oregano -y? Now we have to add a binding agent. This is cream cheese. <gasps> Yum. But why are you putting it? It's, it's flour to glue. Yeah, we're going to make some slime. Makes it slutty me. So what we're going to do is, this is the real fun part, is you're going to work the ingredients together. You must push it like slime. And just keep mixing it until everything is all incorporated. This feels awesome. It feels so weird when it squeezes through your fingers. They're doing great. They have more mess on the table. <laughs> Wow! Gotta get down to the bottom. There's just brought up stuff that didn't even get there. Okay. Move this way. It's so cold. Now we're gonna roll your flouten. The best way to make them is if you get fresh tortillas from a tortilleria. When you start. It's, it's easiest to just kind of start with a glob. You take some of the dough and you kind of spread it out like this. You see that? Make your dough like that. Like a wall. Like a wall. Once you get the wall, you want to leave just a smidgen on either side. Perfect, Kira. Good job. So then you take the end that it's closest to and you put it over and you kind of push it down and that kind of holds it, hence the glue. 
Now you roll it tight. And you leave it so that the bottom that's open is down. Perfect. That is perfect. Perfect. Yep, you guys all did good. It takes a lot longer to roll these than, than it's going to take to cook them, so we like to get a head start. So, here's a stack for you two to keep working on. Yep, and there's a stack for you guys to work on. I, I pick them up and hold it like that, and then you put them in. You hold it. And you have to hold it a couple seconds because they'll start unrolling. And if you see them start to unroll, you have to hold them down. Uh huh. To make sure that it doesn't unroll. Mm -hmm. And I grab it, put it down. Lift towards you that way. Like it's oh. sticking its tongue out at you. That's not very nice. Well, you get to eat it in the end, so pay that. It had to do with whatever hand they were that they rolled. You definitely do not want to put yeah, your finger yeah. in there. No, definitely not. These get about, the hotter the oil gets, the shorter, you know. The time. So you start with the ones that you started with. And after about three minutes, you start slowly, you start with this one, you turn it, and you just keep working your way down. And to turn it, we're going to grab it like this and just ease it over. Okay. So like how we do with meat, you just kind of slightly turn it up. Yeah, because they, if they weren't all the way fried closed they'll open back up again. So this is not, I turned this up just a little bit more. Let them cook a little bit longer. You want them a little bit brown. Now you're on video doing that. So delicious. <laughs> so I don't understand what's wrong with this. I'm a pig. I would give me pig. No, it has onions. No cilantro. We're out of cartoons. Okay. That was, you were doing cilantro. What's this? Check out Pesky Posters. No, I don't know. Please. No, this has no onions. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.